With axisymmetric geometries, you may want to extract a cylindrical region to understand the properties of certain scalar values as a function of theta. This video will help you understand how to create a cylindrical slice and how to properly display it in TechPlot360. For this video, we will use a single time step of a converge internal combustion simulation, which is included in the TechPlot360 Getting Started bundle. The key components to creating this plot are compute, radius, and theta variables, create and extract an isosurface at a constant radius, plot the extracted isosurface in a 2D plot with theta on the x-axis, enable value blanking to eliminate cells which span the periodic boundary where theta goes from negative pi to positive pi. This will be explained in more detail below. The first step is to load the data and compute the new variables we will need to extract the isosurface and to unwrap it in a 2D plot. Go to File, Load Data, and select the PLT file from the Getting Started bundle. Go to Data, Alter, Specify Equations, and enter the following formulas. Activate isosurfaces and define an isosurface using the radius variable. You may need to visit the Contour Details dialog to change the Contour Group Variable Assignment. Toggle on Translucency to see the isosurface. Use Data, Extract, Isosurfaces to create a new zone from this isosurface. Now that we have a new zone from the isosurface, which represents a constant radius, we need to unwrap that surface in a 2D plot using the Theta variable. In the Zone Style dialog, deactivate all zones except for the extracted isosurface. Switch the plot to 2D Cartesian and use Plot Assign XY to select Theta and Z for the X and Y axes respectively. Change the Axis Dependency to Independent via the Plot Axis dialog, and then use Ctrl F or View Fit to Full Size to resize the axes. Then toggle on the contour and change the first contour group variable back to Pressure. You will notice some interference in the plot. Go to Plot, Blanking, value blanking and set an active constraint to blank out cells where y is less than or equal to minus 0 0.02779. Toggle on include value blanking and notice that the interference is now gone. When computing the theta values, there's one strip of cells where the value of theta transitions from negative pi to positive pi. This strip of cells effectively contains all values of theta and will therefore be stretched across the entire 2D domain. In the following plot, you can see a visual representation of this. The plot on the left shows the cylindrical slice colored by theta, and the strip of cells which represents all values of theta can clearly be seen. In the plot on the right, we've assigned the x-axis to the theta variable, and again, it can be seen how that strip of cells is stretched across the entire theta domain. In 2D plots, there is only the concept of an x and y variable, so that strip of cells which is easily seen in 3D space will be drawn on top of one another in 2D space. To eliminate those cells from the drawing, we use value blanking to remove the cells. In this case, those cells correspond with the y minimum value, which is why we use value blanking of the y variable at the y minimum value. This brings us to another option for plotting a cylindrical slice. Instead of plotting in 2D, we can plot the cylindrical slice in a 3D plot, with theta on an axis such as the x-axis. Just make sure to rotate the plot correctly such that the stretched cells are in the back. You can easily do this by first viewing the plot in the xz plane view, then go to view, Rotate. In order to flip the view so we don't see the stretched cells in the back, we will enter 180 degrees for the theta spherical angles. You will also want to turn off lighting on the plot sidebar. Available on the TechPlot GitHub site is a script which automates this process. Note at the time of this recording, this is an example of running the AnnularSlice.py script. Go to File, Load Data, and select the PLT file from the Getting Started bundle. Enable PyTechPlot connections via scripting PyTechPlot connections. In a command prompt, run the AnnularSlice.py script. Follow the prompts in the command prompt. The script will then perform nearly all the manual steps listed in this article. The result sets up value blanking to use the minimum y value, which is not sufficient for this case, so you will have to add a small epsilon to the value blanking constraint yourself. Or, as was shown earlier, we can visualize the plot in 3D. 
This concludes the tutorial on creating and visualizing unwrapped cylindrical slices in TechPlot 360. Thank you for watching.